Here we are trying to demonstrate our ditcher here we have for ditching on high bog. You can, it's down to two pounds per square inch is the ground pressure. On the top we have five foot pads, timber pads, which are bolted on to the steel pads. Uh, we have a telescopic here, uh, this track can move out to that width. But for transportation on roads, it moves back into 14 foot, so we can fit it up on a lorry and for transport. It's powered by a Perkins six-cylinder, uh, 5.8 litre engine. With a, it's 120 horsepower. Um, this is a machine that's made up with a, a priestman digger. They're an older priestman digger. It's a priestman cab on it, and the braking system is just we just the wet brakes that's originally on the rear end is what brakes it. Coming around on the side, this pad, the length of the undercarriage is 17 feet, and it's also a priestman carriage. It has been extended for that length. The sprockets, the dry sprockets, we had to put smaller dry sprockets to bring, have it a creeper effect. Uh, uh, and then we can come around. This here is the ditcher part of that, which slices through the peat and uh, it works very well. The rear end of this tractor, gearbox and back axle drive, is from a Massey 2640. Uh, they were a great tractor today, but this is actually a, it's, it's a made up tractor. Uh, it can go travel through any wet swamp. It's, a, it's better than a swamp dozer. It's two pounds per square inch is the ground pressure on it. Um, and it has 16 forward gears and 12 reverses. So no matter what situation you get into, there's always a way of getting out of it. It has never been sunk, it got bogged down around, and it's a test to any man to be able to do that. So look on at the rest of the video and hope you enjoy watching.